Hi, hello guys. Uh, today gonna be complicated subject which is charging the unicycles. As you may know the unicycles are usually powered um, using um, lithium-ion batteries built from such cells. This is 18650 cell uh, this specific one is exactly the one used in the KS16S, which is 3500 milliampere hours, the highest capacity available on the market uh, as for the 2017. And those cells are basically the same type like used in the Tesla car. Um, and uh, those types of the cells like to be, like to stay within 30 to 90% of the of the charge. In the Tesla car you can control it from the um, you know LCD screen and uh, set it up how much uh, you charge it but however on our unicycles this is a little bit more complicated because you cannot easily control it from the wheel um, when to switch the charging process off. Of course uh, when you discharge it when you see the orange lights over here it means that you have 30% of the charge, so it's uh, high time to start charging. However, um, for the upper limit, to keep it uh, within the 90% or 92-95% of the charge, you need some clever device to do it, and uh, it is called Charge Doctor. This is uh, the piece of which you simply connect in the series with the using the standard power supply and you simply connect it uh, to the uh, port over here it will show you the version number the voltage and last charge over here and the current so because it's not connected so it's not it's not showing any flow um basically you, you, when you, uh, you want to set it you when you turn it on you have to keep the uh, button pressed and it will allow you to set the voltage or current um, at which you want to stop the charging process uh, right now and it is connected you can switch it into the how many ampere hours it has charged and what is the finish voltage 66.4 means about 95% of the charge which I want to stop uh, the charging process on um, for the setup please have a look on the web page of the producer uh, basic setup is uh, pretty simple just this with this one key but uh, um, have a look on this and read the manual read the uh, description because uh, charging it's uh, slightly advanced um, um, it needs some specific detail details if you want to get some knowledge about it it's good to read uh, some something about it what one more thing which this device uh, offers is the uh, functionality uh, which um, using the additional dongle um, which you can connect to the USB port and uh, you know you have USB cable you can connect it to the PC just just using the cable and uh, you plug it here using those two connectors and it will allow you to uh, read the data sent by this device this device every 10 seconds it's sending the pulse with the um, current and voltage and uh, all this data is collected on the PC and then you can make a graph to see if your battery is uh, in the good condition and uh, how to um, see you know all the details about about the charging process um, also oh, you know simply when you have it set up you simply connect it to the you have to connect it to the port and you can see that the wheel started to charge right now um, and it will stop at the set voltage you can have a look again it will stop at 66.4 volt so about 95 percent um, something which is uh, important um, you know for really specific details have a look on the um, web page and on the manual of the device but um, every let's say 10 charges like or two weeks of use if you ride uh, the wheel daily uh, you should have 
you should try to charge it into the full so to keep the balance uh, keep the batteries keep the cells in the batteries balanced so um, basically um, either you just uh, do not use it or you um, connect or you switch check change the voltage into uh, 60 7.3 so that it will not stop the charging process. Uh, one more nice functionality of this device which I want to quickly show you um, also which is quite nice if you happen to have a second uh, power supply as I have here it will allow you to charge the wheel quicker basically by connecting the second charger it will double the current you can see that now it is almost four amperes from the two amperes and uh, so it will charge the wheel in half of the time like a regular charger so twice the current means half of the charging time so speed of charging is doubled so uh, if you are in a hurry you can use it in such mode or if you have a big battery you can also um, use it this device can work on the several types of the wheels um, from 9 bot, uh, King Song, also other types uh, uh, whatever uh, you have got way is you have to just make sure that you have a proper connector uh, because this is uh, either can be with the three pins or four pins you have to check which one you need to order on the daily basis I do not use the double chargers but this is uh, um, really clever solution if you are in a hurry or um, you know you just need to charge quickly for because of something okay mm, I hope it's a like very basic setup for the detail operation please have a look on the manual of the charge doctor because it has, there are several um, items, several uh, possibilities to set it up. Okay, I will switch it off. Um, and to have a look on this. Also, if you like the description, if you like uh, the information I publish, please subscribe to my channel. I'll try to provide more data regarding, more information regarding wheels and maybe other subjects. Um, so... Uh, this is how to set it up. Okay, all the best. Have a good time uh, riding the wheels. Thanks a lot for listening. Thanks, bye.